Good morning. Good morning. I'm so I'm so happy to have this worship service in this wonderful place. So I'm Pastor Han. All of you are welcome to our second worship outdoor worship service in this summer. And also all congregation who are part who are participating in this worship service through online are welcome as well. Okay, I want to share some announcements before we begin. As you know that please keep wearing your mask on during the whole worship service. But please understand I'm the only one person who are not wearing mask during the worship service because I want to send a clear message yeah, to you. And thankfully we are keeping enough social distancing and also we are in outside as well. So I think it's, it's, not, it's not a matter today. And Christine is the only one person who sing along. Please keep it in mind. But you are welcome to home along with her. And the offering plate is on the picnic table, so you may place your offering in it as you exit. Okay, now let me invite uh, Chuck to lead today's worship service from the call to worship. If you are comfortable and able, please rise for the call to worship. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. It is a small seed that has some surprises in When it is grown, it is a very large shrub. Even the birds can find places and branches for their nests. God's transforming love begins in small ways to enter our hearts. Our opening hymn is This Is My Father's World to be sung by Christian. Will you join with me in repeating the opening prayer? God of surprising love, you have called us to be your treasures, to be those who love and serve you by helping meet the needs of others. Jesus reminded us that we were like mustard seeds that could grow into mighty shelters for those who felt abandoned, that we were like yeast placed in flour 
which causes the whole dough to rise and to be fruitful for the nourishment of God's people, that we are also nets cast into the unknown sea, gathering people for the Lord, that they might be healed and saved. You place so much hope and trust in us. Please help us do not fail you. We bring before you this day persons and situations which need your healing love. Help us to be vehicles of that word for these dear ones. Give us courage and empower us to serve you boldly and joyfully. For it is in the healing love of Christ that we offer this prayer. Amen. Thank you, Chuck. I want to celebrate our time markers. Is there someone who has the birthday or any anniversary or new, new birth yeah. in today or the upcoming week or even the last week? Is there someone who has? Okay, if it is so, it's really a good time to share children's message now. Okay, this is time to share the children's message. Um, it's my honor to share a children's message. Even though there is no children today, as I mentioned the last Sunday, I believe over the screen, the beyond the screen, there must be our children. Also, I believe that what Jesus said, I truly tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. That's why I want to keep sharing the children's message with you. Okay, today's Bible story is about having faith of a mustard seed. Um, Jesus used a mustard seed to explain the kingdom of God and how our faith grows. And Jesus said, according to the gospel, Jesus said, the smallest of seeds becomes the greatest garden plants. But without proper care or attention, the plants would not will grow perfectly. Only proper care and attention makes them grow bigger and stronger. So they need they need water or sunlight or feed. In the same, uh, in the same manner, our faith, growth of our faith is the same. We need spiritual water and spiritual sunlight and spiritual feed as well. Let's think about the water first. This is the water. Water sustains life. Right? Water sustains the life. How do you water your faith? According to the Gospel of John, Jesus said, The water that I will give you uh, will never be thirsty. So that it means that though Jesus' words, the word of God, could be water for our faith. So we should listen to God's words carefully. But it's a little bit hard to discern what God's words is. Sometimes God speaks to you very quietly. Sometimes God sends a message through your people's action, your friend's action, your family member's action. And sometimes God directly speaks to you without words. So it's really hard to discern God's message. But there is a way to discern God's message. Reading the Bible. The Bible is filled with many of God's words. So that if you read the Bible, you can discern easily what God said, what God says today. This is the spiritual water. And the next is sunshine. Sunshine is also one of important elements to grow the plants. So how can we add the spiritual sunshine to our faith? Sunshine, the sunlight, represents our um, pos positive inferences. 
such as your church friends or Bible studies or VBS as well. Even though in this summer we cannot have VBS, but those other things would be really, really good positive influence in your life. So hold tight those of um, positive influences in your life. Those of things will strengthen your faith. But sometimes we face weeds. Sometimes we face weeds in our lives. Weeds represent um, the darkness, such as doubt, or such as um, any kind of negative influences. So when you face weeds, you should find the spiritual garden law, like this hand. When you face the weeds, you should find spiritual gardener or spiritual mentor. Pastors or Sunday school teachers could be spiritual mentor, spiritual gardener for your life. So it, please keep it in mind, when you face weeds, you should find the spiritual gardener, spiritual mentor. Okay, water and sunshine are very, very important elements yeah, to grow plants. But if there is the feed, if there is a feed, the plants will be will grow bigger and stronger. In the same manner, in your faith, if there is the feed, your faith will grow bigger and stronger. And how can we feed our faith? The, the feed is prayer. So prayer will your heart closer to God. So you should plan, you should plan at least one dedicated time each day. I think it will give you a chance to have a prayerful conversation with God. Praying before having lunch or dinner or any kind of snacks, it will be really good time to have prayerful conversation with God. Just try, pray with your God. It will be really, really good to feed in your faith. Okay, friends, God gave us, Jesus gave us faith. It seems like really small, little, tiny, but if you nurture it really, really carefully, you can have really the greatest powerful faith. I hope you have a greatest faith in your life with God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for giving us another beautiful day and strength to, strength to live in your love and mercy. Today we heard about the story of a most hard seed. The seed is a gift that you have given us. Please help us to nurture the seed, faith, with water, sunshine, and feed to grow it bigger, stronger, by listening to your voice, reading your words, and praying to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our first scripture lesson comes to us this morning from Psalm 105, verses 1 through 11. And it speaks to God's faithfulness. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Sing to Him. Sing praises to Him. Tell of all His wonderful works. Glory in His holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Remember the wonderful words that He has done, His miracles and the judgments He uttered. O oh, offspring of Abraham, His servant, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones, He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, 
the covenant which he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. This is the word of the God for the people of God. In this morning's gospel lesson is from Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 to 33 and 44 to 52. If you are available, would you stand up? He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down, and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the a furnace on fire, where there will be whipping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household, who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. This is the word of God for the people of God. Very Thanks nice be to God. God. May be seated. Okay, before before we begin today, I brought some black beans. The raw black beans. In my home country, South Korea, there is a proverb that says, you will reap what you sow. You will reap what you sow. So if you sow black beans, oh, sorry. what do you reap in the fall? Black beans, that's right. Of course, black beans. You will harvest as you sowed. It's a law of nature. However, in today's gospel lesson, Jesus said something strange. Let's see verses 31 to 32 again. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that he so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches it's really hard to totally understand what the kingdom of heaven look like even though jesus tried to explain about the kingdom of heaven by using many parables no one can figure out exactly what the kingdom of heaven is like Jesus used parables to explain about God's kingdom by giving people examples that they could easily see in their life, such as yeast, 
such as a treasure hidden in a field, such as one pearl of great value, and a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind, and also the mustard seed as well. Jesus used parables with examples that his listeners could easily see and understand. But these examples are not as familiar for us who read the Bible today. Has anyone here worked as a fisherman? Jack? Oh, are you sure? Were you, <laughs> were, were you a fisherman? Wow, oh, that's really, that's really awesome. But that's not the story that I expected. But yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> at the time, at the time, the most people worked as a fisherman because both seas, the Sea of Galilee and the Mediterranean Sea was near. So the image of the net was very familiar to the Israelites. They knew that when you cast a net, you would catch all kinds of fish, good ones and bad ones. Also, Jesus used one pearl as an example to explain the kingdom of God. Although gold and diamonds are more attractive jewels nowadays, in the days of Jesus, pearls were more expensive and more popular jewels than gold or even diamonds. That's why he used one pearl as an example to explain the kingdom of God has a great value. In today's sermon title, the mustard seed was also a word that the Israelites usually used when they talk each other. It's like a mustard seed is a kind of idiom to tell a really small, little, tiny one. It's a like, it looks like a mustard seed. It's a kind of idiom of the Israelites. Jesus wanted to explain God's kingdom by using the word a mustard seed. Because even if the seed is the smallest of all the seeds, when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. It means that kingdom of heaven seems like a small, little, and tiny, but if it is sowed, if it is stored in our hearts, it will grow and become the greatest tree which has the power to transform the world. That's the kind of power God's kingdom has. Today, however, I want to share an amazing secret with you. Surprisingly, the mustard seed doesn't become a tree when grown. The mustard seed doesn't become a huge tree when grown. There are two kinds of mustard seeds. One kind of mustard seed becomes a mustard tree. The other kinds of mustard seeds, however, becomes just a mustard plant. This is the mustard seed that you just mentioned. It looks really small and little and tiny, right? Jesus used the parables to explain about God's kingdom. Oh, I'm sorry. So the mustard seed that Jesus used to explain a little, small, and tiny one was the letter, which becomes a mustard plant and is blossomed. According to the same verses, but a different version, NIV says, Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants. The NIV just said the garden plants, not a shrubs or the big tree. The mustard plants usually grow about three to five feet. It's different from the greatest of shrubs that you just mentioned. But one interesting thing is the mustard plant 
has a special ability. It easily spreads across the hill. It easily spreads across the hill. This is the mustard plant and flowers. See? The mustard plant, plants, the mustard flowers are spread out whole the hill, throughout the hill. Even though the mustard seed that you just used doesn't grow hugely, it has the power to spread out to the world. I believe Jesus wanted people to know that the kingdom of heaven should be spread out through the whole world. The mustard seed cannot grow and become a huge tree. If the seed become a huge tree, even though it looks really good and strong, that's, that is against its nature. The mustard seed should blossom and spread throughout the hill. But if the seed grows and becomes the great, greatest tree, it's not the way that for that seed to grow. The seed that Jesus calls us to be is the plant to grow, to blossom, and to spread throughout the hill. Many people think about what does a successful church like? And what does a successful believer look like? And what does a successful life look like? Lots of members, big fat bank accounts, and large houses don't equate to success. True success is living following Jesus' words, living following Jesus' will. The kingdom of heaven isn't about getting bigger or stronger. It's about having the power to spread out through the whole world. In today's first scripture, Psalm chapter 105 says, Glory in His holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. The most important thing is not to grow up bigger or stronger, but to grow up following Jesus' will, following Jesus' words. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Big isn't all good. Big isn't all successful. If you sow black beans, you will reap black beans. Yeah. If you sow mustard seed, you should see mustard floor, flower, not a big tree. I hope the kingdom of heaven that we will establish would like the mustard seed. Even though the seed is really looks like the small, little, and tiny, when it is sowed in our heart, it spread out and blossom and makes fragrance through the whole world. I don't want you to become a person who is eager to grow bigger and stronger and save lots of money and lots of materials. But I hope you become a person who is following Jesus' will and Jesus' words and spreading out His message throughout the whole world. Go forth and be the mustard seed, which has the power to spread out His message through the whole world with the love of God. Amen. So let's sing the UM Hymnal 275, The Kingdom of God. UM Hymnal 275.
Amen. Let's share our joys and concern. Please share your joys and concern and with your name. It will help me to get to know better. What do you want to celebrate and what do you want to live in praying? Ken. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm just celebrating the fact that we can all meet and in a nice place and beautiful, beautiful. So I'm, I'm very thankful that prayer concern for all the people who are, who are being affected by the COVID virus and the we imagine a thousand people a day who are dying and the pain and suffering the people, the families must be going through. Our, our world needs a lot of prayer and a lot of good help. Thank you, Cam. say praise God for this beautiful day and for everybody uh, making the effort to, to come out here today. It's absolutely wonderful. And I'd like to ask for prayers for my friend Jim, who is, uh, he was a classmate of mine in college and he is uh, currently out of uh, full-time work. He's uh, picking up, I think, odd jobs here and there. And so prayers for Jim to find gainful employment. Thank you, Ari, for sharing. I'm Loretta, and I want to thank you for your so good message last week with the hand about praying. Yeah. I have a friend in Florida who said she needs to start praying again. And I said to her, well, guess what? And so I explained it, the hand to her. She was absolutely thrilled and said that's what she's going to start doing. Oh, amen. Thank you. <laughs> I like prayers for our, my son's father-in-law is going into the hospital mm -hmm. for a heart uh, procedure this week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> His name is Lou. Lou. Okay, anyone else? Let us pray for our joys and also concerns. Let us pray. O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Psalm 139. Gracious God, thank you for giving us this time to celebrate our joys and leave concerns to your knee. We knew that many people are dying and many people are suffering due to the pandemic or um, their situations or their, their own disease. Please, please help us to pray for them, not just for myself, but for my neighbors. That's you really want to do us. We believe you have searched us and know us better than us. We are your people. Where can we go from your spirit? Where can we fully form your presence? In your presence, with your spirit, we can get our faith to grow up. We cannot live without you. Please be with us and guide us, hold us with your right hand. We don't want to be a huge tree. We just want to be a plant, even though it's small, little, tiny. It has a power to spread out through the whole world. It has a good fra fragrance. Please help us to blossom so that deliver your sweet message through the whole world. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, as I mentioned before we begin, today we are going to not pass uh, the offering plates yeah, due to the pandemic. So please put your offering in it um, when you exit, when you leave. Uh, let's sing the doxology, You Am Him Now 49. Pray for the over, over, uh, over tree all together. Gracious God, thank you for giving us the opportunity to share from our bounty for the ministries of our church, the Christ redeeming love. Lord, please receive our gift and our lives. Cause all of these blessings to work for you in this world, which you have loaned to us for safekeeping. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, let us sing. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You am him now. 4, 5, 4 oh, 5. This is a blessing for everyone. Go forth with joy. Go forth with hope. And go forth with love that God has given for us before the creation of the world. And please spread out with Jesus' words and Jesus' love through the whole life, through the whole world. May Jesus' grace and steadfast of love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.